everybody, thank you for joining me on another episode of The Insider. Today we're talking to this guy right here, Joy Price, rapper, poet, entrepreneur. Today we're gonna discuss his album, The Fame. So stay tuned, here's another episode of The Insider. Well, thank you for joining us today. Thank Nick. you for having me. Um, so let's get started. So how did you get involved with music? Um, music is, I mean, always been there. I have family who are musically inclined, so it's in my blood, but um, it really came out through poetry. Just writing, writing through grade school, um, writing up through high school um, and college, some friends, pushed me to start making music and um, seeing how well it can turn out for me. And so I've been with it ever since 08. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So how has it like, transformed your life from 08 to now? How has things changed? Um, it's definitely given me more confidence. Just growing up, um, I always was at the back of the class and I kind of blended in. Um, and it gave me more confidence to actually step out and be in front of the scene. So definitely a, um, a life changer in that sense was just confidence booster and me being more of a social person. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So can you describe like your style of music? How do you rap and everything? Because I know a lot of people, they have different, you know, forms of like how they rap and uh, just how they go about it. So, what, what's your style? Uh, the best way to describe my style is, um, I guess, conscious. Mm -hmm. um, if you really want to put a technical term on it, it's conscious rap. Um, it's more rooted in reality. So, people can relate no matter what the subject is, whether if it's heartbreak, love. Um, it reaches a vast majority of people. And I think this the overall, the best word to describe my music is timeless. No matter if you hear it now, if you hear it five years, 10 years from now, it's something in those lyrics will resonate and it'll like be prevalent in whatever situation you're going through at that time. So out of all of those that you mentioned, I'm sure there's more things you talk about, but mm -hmm. what's your favorite uh, topic to about. It's hard because I think it's hard to describe a, a favorite subject um, just because there's a lot of different things that inspire me to write a song and not only just outside of the beat but just everyday life. I can be inspired to write a song by a single mother riding with her daughter on a train. Um, so it's hard to describe like what's a favorite topic to rap about for me. Can you think you can rap about anything? Like anything yeah. pretty much? Pretty much anything. Um, like I said, it's just it boils down to my belief in that story. If I don't believe what I'm rapping about, then the song is not gonna come out like with the best quality. So it's just about my personal belief in what subject I'm reaching on. If I feel like if I can't honestly speak about something then it's not gonna sound authentic. What's like a typical day for you? Uh, like get up, do a ritual, go to the studio. Like how how do you get into like to be inspired to do music? It usually stems from a certain feeling. Like this project now that I've worked on the fame that's out now, um, it was created from a want and need to succeed in life. It was created so we can push to the record labels, say, hey, look, this is what's coming out of Chicago right now, too. Um, previous projects were stemmed from either heartbreak or just a, a angry emotion. And uh, so it, was, it all depends on what I'm feeling within a year or so, and then that'll kind of lead into my next project. So let's talk about this, your current project. Sure. Yes. And it's called The Fame. Yes. So is this your first, like... It's my first, like, major, major release as far as 
what we're doing with it. It's currently on iTunes, Tidal, Google Play, Amazon MP3, and a bunch of other streaming sites like Spotify, things like that. Um, so this is the first ever major release. Um, my, publicist, my publicist, Randy, is working extremely hard um, setting up interviews and um, shows and bookings and things like that. So this is my baby. This is like <laughs> my firstborn all over again. Now can you describe like some of the songs and what they mean to you and your favorite song that's on here? <laughs> It's hard because the my favorite my absolute favorite song on here is the fame, um, just because I have my a good friend of mine his name is Xavier he's singing the hooks he actually sings the hooks for the fame jump in the broom and he has a little small part on riches and ambitions, but the fame is the absolute favorite song just because of the production and then the overall tone of the song it gives you that encouragement to go after whatever you want in life. It's not even necessar necessarily focused on music. It's just that motivation to succeed. And I think when people hear it and when it's played, they feel it. And I'm, I'm loving the responses that I'm getting from that particular song, but the Fame EP overall. Um, I think the next best song on the project, in my opinion, would be Jumpin' the Broom. Um, you know, you get older, you start thinking about things. Um, I'm 28 now, so um, it's about that time. It's about that time. It's about that time. And it's about the time you have people are. I'm getting pressured about children and things like that. So uh, it's about that time, and you start thinking about things, and it's just having that person with you that can, you know, be with you and stand the test of times and. You know, and all that emotion came out on that track, so mm -hmm. I think that's the second favorite song on the project. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. So, how long did it take you to complete this? And if, get my, out there? if my manager was here, he'll probably give you an, an exaggeration, <laughs> but I think this project literally took about a year and a half. Okay. So, five songs took a year and a half. I'm mm -hmm. an absolute perfectionist. Yeah. Um, so if something's not right, we got to go back in and do it again. I think we spent over a thousand dollars just in studio time for these five songs, because mm -hmm. I have to keep going back in and redoing stuff, re-editing. Yeah. What inspires you to keep going, to mm -hmm. never give up? Because it's it's pretty hard to get in the entertainment business. I think not being motivated by money. Um, I think that's where a lot of people make their mistake is that they focus on the get rich quick type of plan for music and <laughs> my mom for the longest for eight years she kept asking me when are you going to see some money from this when are you going to see some money from this I'm like mom it, it comes it comes it's a slow process but it comes um, but just knowing that my focus and my heart and my passion is with creating music it kind of makes that expectation of getting money, it doesn't just sit in the front of my mind. So I don't even worry about when the money is gonna come. I'm just worried about giving the world and my fans something new, something positive, something that they can listen to. Um, and like I said, my fans are the biggest motivation for me to keep going. And I just wanna be a superstar, riding with my fancy bra, top down, fancy cars.